This could be the solution for anyone bored of the usual luxury sports utility brands. It's not got an instantly recognisable German badge and it's not a Range Rover. In fact, most people who drive past won't have a clue what it is. But this FX50 is the biggest offering from Nissan's new luxury brand, Infinity, and its unusual looks make it a motor for those who like to be different. Underneath its chunky body is the same fabulous chassis that the Nissan 370Z sits on, but you're unlikely ever to see this car on a racetrack. It's also fitted with a four-wheel drive system, but you're hardly going to see this plowing the field. So what's it like on the road? There are three engines to choose from, a 3-litre diesel, a 3.7-litre V6 petrol from the Nissan 370Z, and then this range-topping 5-litre V8. It costs £54,000 and will do 21 miles to the gallon, which is marginally better than Range Rover's range-topping V8 supercharger, but I still think it's pretty poor. And although the Infiniti is a lot less powerful with 385 brake horsepower compared to the Range Rover's 503, this FX50 is actually quicker just to 60 miles an hour, taking 5.8 seconds. Put your foot down on the throttle, the thing just picks up and goes. Which is incredible for a car that weighs two tonnes. It is an aggressive amount of power delivered quite brutally, and sometimes that can catch you out. It's got a seven-speed automatic gearbox with magnesium paddle shift controls. It's also got a limited slip differential, so its main characteristic, according to Infiniti, is that of a rear-wheel drive car. Now, I can feel the shadow of the Nissan 370Z underneath, but this FX50 isn't as agile because that four-wheel drive system sort of weights down on it and makes it less nimble. Put the suspension into sport mode and the steering weights up and gets a little sharper, which is great for tackling twists on country roads. But the whole package is nowhere near as involving or as sharp as that of a Porsche Cayenne or BMW X5. You don't want to leave it in that sport mode for too long because it makes the ride almost unbearably firm. And I blame partly those massive 21-inch alloys. A Range Rover is much, much more comfortable and it comes with a multitude of suspension settings. This car doesn't. It's a £54,000 motor that's playing with the big boys. It should come with all the toys. Inside, there's quilted leather seats, but it doesn't use quite the best materials and it isn't as well packaged as its main rivals. It's not as spacious either, so its occupants don't feel as cosseted as they should. Rear leg room's not generous and the boot is one of the smallest in its class, but at least it's a little greener than most with 307 grams per kilometre of CO2. The Range Rover V8 emits 348 grams. The FX50S tries really hard to impress with clever features like paintwork that fixes its own scratches and 360 degree wide angle parking cameras. It's just a pity such attention wasn't paid to the interior layout and its fixtures and fittings. It's not yet in the same league as a Range Rover X5 or Cayenne and for the money it should be.